Now let's say we have this food dictionary and we want to add an item to it. The most simple and probably the most common way to do this is by first typing out the name of the dictionary and using square bracket notation. And inside these square brackets, you're going to name the new key. So we'll name it color in this case. And we set its value to we'll set it to pink in this case. So it's the name of the dictionary, then inside the square brackets, the key name, and then the value name here. Another way we can add multiple key value pairs is by using the update method. So let's say we have these new items that we want to add to our food dictionary. We simply type in the name of our food dictionary, update, and inside the update method, we're going to pass our new items as the argument. But the update method doesn't just take in a dictionary. You can also pass in an iterable of key value pairs, such as a list of tuples. And also with the update method, we can pass keyword arguments to create new key value pairs. So in this case, we'll pass in color as red and price as $50 per apple as our keyword arguments. This will create two new key value pairs for our food dictionary.